welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm a TNT nine. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Did you forget what we were doing? Oh uh, no, no, we're good. We're Are good. we good? Yeah. You ever heard of Little John? Like uh, of the Merry Men with like Robin Hood and shit. Thought you were gonna go, yeah, yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. No, you were talking about like Little John with the Merry Men, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm talking about yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking about the uh, I can't even call you Little John a rapper because he really wasn't a rapper. He was like more of like a he's a producer. He came up with like the beats. He made the he made the songs hits by. He's kind of like the DJ Khaled of that time. Mm-hmm. Mike Will made this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, you know, he has his tagline in there. He says, yeah, but really it's other people rapping. But yes, I do re- remember Little John. So what I saw him? an article that Little John is going to release a guided meditation album. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what, man? <laughs> Go ahead. No, that's it. That was the whole story. <laughs> I don't even, even read any more about it. I, I don't even care what it is. I just wanted your I figured right. you'd get a response. You know so. what, Joe? It's, it's crazy because it is Black History Month, and we have not acknowledged it whatsoever. And I'm glad that we haven't because, you know, I don't really care about that I give shit. you space to bring up anything you want. I'm, well, I'm going to bring up some, some Black History here. Good. It's very funny to me is that... I, I'm, I'm, well, I shouldn't say it's funny. I should say that I feel like there's been some progress made where <sighs> Little John can come out with a guided meditation album and nobody bats an eye, where uh, Andre 3000 can come out with flute music and everybody's like, I'm not listening to that shit, but, <laughs> you know, it, it, still, it still sells. It's a Pied Piper. Yeah, I mean, look, man, we we out here doing weird shit, and I'm I'm happy that we we have that autonomy to do so. Because honestly, when I was coming up as a kid, if I caught a dude playing flute, I would call him a flute player. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I would call him a little bundle of sticks, and I'm not. <laughs> you know what? You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You out here playing flutes. Are you trying to say that there's um, preconceived notions about guided meditation? Uh, yeah, it's a little, you know, sounds a little light and loafers, like a little soft boy activity. A little you know? soft boy activity. You no, know, a little, you know, you might be a little trans or something you're doing that, you know. Well, wow. You might like, Talk a little more about that. Might like a little lace on your pillow. Maybe you got a doily in your household or something, you know. Yeah. You might have know. some furry slippers, you know, some under your furry bed. Slippers under your bed. You might have a, an unhealthy like for Despicable Me or something like that, you unhealthy know. Unhealthy like for. Yes. You know? Have you uh, ever you might heard eat cottage of- cheese with peaches in it or something? That's you know? what my grandma did all the mm, time, dude. Grandma's kind of suspect. And she did have a doily She's and lace. Suspect. Uh oh, grandma's trans. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, teach your own. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry to talk about your grandmother. Uh, no, it's fine. Lady. It's fine. I know. I know she was a nice lady. <laughs> uh, have you ever heard guided meditation? I've never participated in guided meditation. I've never meditated. I don't really understand what it is. Like, what do you? I do? don't. I don't really understand either. But you. So you've never tried. I've, he- I've heard a guided meditation. Like it's like it'll be like it'll be like picture. No, it'll be like, hey there. What you need to do right now is. Close your eyes and relax. Why don't you take a deep breath? Feel that going down into your lungs. Feel that energy going down into your stomach, down your thighs, into your calves, to your tippy toes. Bro, this is this ASMR. It, well, and then it like it just goes on like that for like twenty minutes. Yeah, I, think I about gonna, nothing. Look, I ain't a cap. Like I don't know if it's like gay or nothing, but I did feel like mad relaxed when you was talking. <laughs> 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 so I don't know if I like if I should like just go like suck a dick, but it felt like really relaxing when you were talking. Yeah, but that's what it's like for like twenty minutes. Yeah, I could do that. I could do and, that. Like, and like, it'll relax be like, me. And yeah, and they'll be like, yeah, I'll just keep saying like, breathe in, feel it in your arms, release yeah. the tension from your shoulders. In fact, a little later, I'm gonna need you to come to my room and whisper <laughs> so in my why, ear why a little why bit. Why don't you stand? Why don't you stand in my doorway and be like, just breathe in. Yeah, is that comfortable? Yeah, just, <laughs> just like whisper in my ear while I'm sleeping. <laughs> If you could do that. Like you want a turkey sandwich when you wake up? It's going to be good. Uh, put, no, some, want a put some mayo sandwich. on it. What kind of insane person eats a turkey sandwich? Whatever, dude. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I can't think it'd be like, it'd be like, 
Get low. <laughs> no man, Jesus, little John doing it. Yeah, that's funny. It's probably satirical in nature, but I don't know. You could probably pull maybe it he, off. maybe he's got a deep voice. He's like, I'm sure he has a normal speaking voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good for I mean, I don't know. know. Like I have tried to meditate, but I only think about everything. Like so, like when you're meditating, you're supposed to like clear your mind and focus mm-hmm. on your breath, right? Like that's the mm-hmm. that's the jam. But mm-hmm. I can't keep my mind clear. I just think about everything. And what they say is like, that's okay. You're not wrong. Just that every time you notice it, try to clear it. Like, and that, and you just keep doing that. And I'm like, that's hard. I mean, it can be for some people. I mean, I feel like I have a brain that just never turns off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how I'm supposed to sit there and be quiet. I can't even not talk for five minutes, let alone not think. (laughs) I'm glad you you realize a certain thing. I mean, you've known me a long time. You, you know I, how I am. I do. I do. Sometimes I, do. I can sit in silence, though. I mean, you. That's my mo. <laughs> that's my mo. But I mean, I, look, it, it, guided meditation. It sounds like it could be helpful. I just don't understand like what it's supposed to do for you. It's supposed to relax you. But look, I'll just take a. Can I just take a nap in a Tylenol or something? Can I just take a Nyquil and shut the fuck up? Yeah, I don't really understand the purpose either. Um, like I hear that it's supposed to be like like okay beyond self help. It's supposed to help you to like just achieve more i, I, I don't want to well, say it's like well like more, you but... said like and I, I figure you're probably being facetious about how you felt relaxed but but people that's what people supposedly do so like so like say like something's going on like your car gets stolen for the second time in a month and yeah. and you're not someone who can just be objective and be like well there's nothing i can do about it and you're like you're mad you're angry it's all in your head like you're supposed to like sit there focus on your breath breathe like like help yourself get back to zero so you're not like all anxious and like whatever. That's like that's the purpose. Yeah, but I thought it was supposed to be like uh like self improvement involved in it. Like it was supposed to like you you do contemplate some things and you come to like affirmations during that time period where you look at some of the things that you have going on in your life and you meditate on how to fix some of your problems, whether they be uh, some mental issues or some like uh, ha- bad habits that you have. I always thought it was like akin to uh, now I have done uh, what do you call it? Like hypnosis. OK, like uh, I, I got a couple books when I was younger and I've even done some self hypnosis to prevent myself from uh, smoking when I wanted to do smoking succession. And I found like some some good results out of it. Now, you have to keep up on it. But with meditation, you have to keep up on it That's as well. the thing. It's like it, it, like the idea behind it is by consistently being aware of what's going on in your body and like breathing and keeping yourself at a, at a, at a calm mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. You you think more clearly. You can achieve more. You have more energy because you're not being bogged down by negativity and bad energy and yada, yada, yada. Uh. I, dude, I get it. Like, I, it's so I hard it, for me. I don't see how it, that's. No, I mean, answered. I get like why everyone's like, nah, I, that doesn't work. And because like, yeah. it takes practice. Like, but I still don't understand. Yeah, like, really, I'm know. like, just because I breathe in and like pay attention, like, man, I'm gonna be all right. Yeah. Like, honestly, I, I feel like just give me a blowjob. Because, like, honestly, I feel like my most relaxed then, and I feel like I would look my outlook on life would be a lot better if I just got one of those every day. I can't say that I don't think that you have something there. Yeah. I would have to say if I had the choice between Jonas whispering in my ear while I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> or a blowjob. Or a blowjob. Not from Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take Not that. offering either. So Yeah. I'm just saying. Like, so, I mean, obviously, I guess in... In, in the current market where blowjobs are at a premium, I guess, yeah, I'll take Jonas whispering in my ear. But that's in the start comparison. So I don't understand why psychiatrists aren't just prescribing B- BJs. Just prescribe me a BJ. Everybody be happier. Jonas, I swear to God that Donald Trump would shut the fuck up if you had a BJ. I mean, who's going to do that, though? I swear that all, all the politicians would, all of them, they would chill the F out. Kanye, you shut the fuck up. I imagine he was getting that. He is getting BJ. He got one on a gondola in Venice, man. It was pretty messed up. He was, oh, oh, he got a gondola blow? Yeah, from his wife, his current wife. Oh, she's classy. She's like, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a little odd dynamic, but I guess. What's so life. odd about it? Uh, you know, 
Is she an alien? Uh, yeah. I mean, she's hot. If I mean, there's a lot of hot people out there. We got to hear. But yeah, I mean, she's like very, she's very attractive. But Kanye has recently been like putting pictures of her in various states of undress, not like nudes, but like. Is he trafficking? Very, very damn near nude, you know, like on Twitter and stuff. Is he trafficking? I don't know if he's trafficking. Is he McManning her? He's married to her. You don't traffic your own wife, but I, I also mean, wouldn't put revealing images of my wife on the internet. So, you know, there's that. I mean, that's what makes him go. Hmm. Eh, I'm pretty sure is that him following a bunch of Nazi uh, Twitters is probably what keeps him going. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, that's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Go to crazy.com. We out.